Welcome to this video giving you an example of a travel graph. So I'm going to walk you through this. Please take notes. This travel graph describes Tia's bicycle ride. She started her trip from 9am. So here we go. Number one, how far from home was Tia at 2pm? So we go along the bottom, we find 2pm, we go up to the line. Here's the line, go across, and what's that? That's six kilometres. 11.30 a.m. So halfway between 11 and noon is 11.30. We go up to the line, and it's 16 kilometres. We can see that on the vertical horizontal line. And then the third one, noon. So we find noon, go all the way up. We find our travel line, and it's 16 kilometres as well. Then... Number four, so we 130, so halfway between one and two is 130. We find the line, there it is. So what's that? That's six kilometers. Good. So you can see by um, using the time, we can actually mark out exactly where she was and correlate that and compare it to the kilometers. With B, it's a little bit different. How far did she travel? So we're talking about distance, nine to 10. So with this one, we actually compare two numbers. We find the difference. So at 9 she was 0, at 10 she was 10. So 10 minus 0 is 10 kilometres. At 10.30, let's have a look for 10.30, halfway between 10 and 11 is 10.30. There she is. So she starts at 10, and then she goes all the way up to 16. So 16 minus 10 is 6 kilometres. With number 3, 2 p.m., we find 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So it starts at 6, goes all the way down to 0. So 6 minus 0 is 6 kilometres. Notice we're finding the distance, difference of the distance. The fourth one, 10 a.m. to 10.30. This is an interesting one. Have a look. It's a horizontal line. She actually doesn't move. There's no difference. And B5, 12.30. So we find noon, go to 30. So this time we're going from 16 all the way down to... 130, which is at 6. So 16 minus 6 is 10 kilometers. And the last one, B, V, I, which is the sixth one. This one's a little bit different. We actually have to divide it up into smaller parts. So it makes it easier that way. So at 1030, she travels all the way up here. So 16 minus 10 is 6. And then in the second part of it, 16 all the way down to 6, so 16 minus 6, so 16 minus 10, what's that? Mm, 6 plus 16 minus 6, what's that? Mm, 10, so 16 minus 10, that should, that's wrong, isn't it? You've got to be very careful. There we go. So overall, she actually travels 16 kilometres. C, how far did she travel before returning home? So the diff distance, the furthest distance is actually 16 kilometres. We can actually see that. How long was the complete trip? So in kilometres, so 16, so she's gone all the way away from home and then all the way back. So 16 plus 16 is 32. E, how many hours did it take Tia to complete the trip? So from 9am to 3pm. So now there's, um, oh, we've jumped over. Three hours from nine till noon, so there's three there, and there's another three from noon till three, so three plus three is six hours. And then F, how many hours altogether did she rest during the trip? So I'm looking for the horizontal line. So there's half an hour there, so that's 0.5. We've got one here, so from t uh, 11.30 till 12.30, so that's one, and another half hour down here. So 0.5 plus one plus 0.5, equals two hours. G, how many hours was she riding the bike? How many hours was she riding the bike? So you've got to be very careful here because you've got to, okay, altogether there's six hours, but at the same time she was resting for two of those. So we go six hours minus two equals four hours. H, what was, the, what was her average speed between 12.30, so find 12.30, and 130, which is down there. So that's one hour. So remember, speed equals the distance divided by the time. So 16 minus 6, so that's the distance she actually traveled between then. So 10 divided by 1 is 10. So 10 kilometers per hour. And the last question. I'll let you figure that out.